Hi, hi. Oh, good run, good run. Phase one. After this message, I'll go for phase two. But I'm prompted to share something I believe is powerful. Yes, walk of faith sharing. Uh, every time you hear a positive message, you feel encouraged, you feel good, you feel great. Then suddenly you see some other kind of postings that people will make when they talk about the early church. You know, you hear somebody talk about prosperity, prosperity. Then suddenly you hear another site says, yeah, but early church was persecuted and they suffered and yes all right so if you want to talk about persecution on one side i agree it was still is in certain places strong persecution but again since my specialty is on finances and prosperity right so how did early church handle prosperity how did they handle it okay uh how about that verse when they say that the church, the people, uh, lay their money, their processions at the feet of the apostles? How, how do you feel about that? Because right now, if you go to YouTube or any service where you see people throwing money on the floor or on the pulpit, people get like, oh, this is scary, this is not good, this is of the devil. Well, look at the book of Acts. They say the people came and uh, throw the money at the apostles' feet. All right, so that's one truth. So nothing wrong putting the money in the pulpit, on the floor, or at the apostles' feet, or at the man of God's feet. All right, after all, money is just a tool, man. So that's one. Next, what's the result of doing that? Again, at the book of Acts, if you, you know me by now, you know I'm not into like which verse and what, you can search that for yourself. The next part says what? Uh, the church lacked nothing. There was no lack, no lack, no lack in church. They didn't lack anything, all right? Uh, if somebody needed something, somebody else provided for the person. So it's just, it's just an amazing move of God, all right? So there was no lack. So you want to argue about that, uh, early church? Well, look at the book of Acts. What happened to the early church? There was no lack. That means all the needs were met all the needs of the church were met i'm not talking about the churches the organization i'm talking about the congregation the needs of the congregation were met according to the book of acts to my knowledge unless you have a different bible version that is opposite of what i'm saying read it for yourself it's so powerful okay so two things i wanted to share here the people came and put the money at the apostles feet it's in the bible and there was no lack in the church there was more than enough resources all the needs were met okay and that's which which leads us to the book of philippians which talks about apostle paul talks about and my god shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in christ jesus and he said that because the condition was that the philippian church was partnering with him in the gospel that was the only condition all right they were partners with the apostle that means they lay their money at the apostles feet literally speaking and the Philippian church didn't lack anything, all right? Uh, that's why Apostle Paul dared, dared make that statement of faith, my God shall supply all your needs, all right? So these are two, uh, it might sound radical when I say it, but you got to read it for yourself in the book, in the Word of God, especially in the book of Acts, all right? Uh, you can even refer to Corinthians, how Apostle Paul uh, teach them uh, about the giving part, right? He said, just prepare, prepare the offering. Don't even wait for me to come and call for an offering. Just prepare it for me and I'll bring it to, to the other side of the world. He was so direct about it. But now we are so sensitive. Be careful when you talk about tithes and offering. Watch out. Don't offend the people. You talk about that, people will leave the church. Well, that was not the early church culture. All right? That was an atmosphere of giving and receiving. That was an atmosphere of laying the money at the apostles' feet. Wow, that's powerful. All right? So this is how the early church operated in the area of money. So I know there was persecution and stuff like that, but again, this is the other side of the coin. How did they handle prosperity? How did they handle money? How did they handle resources? All right? So again, this is uncensored truth, if I get it speaking, so subscribe more to my channel so you get more uncensored truth, sensitive truth. Bye-bye. <laughs>